And welcome back, you math masters, you fabulous fourth graders of Virtual Room 502, another edition of Mr. Leggett's Eureka Math in the Morning. All right, let's see what we got for number two. It says, use the associated property to find more factors of 24 and 36. Okay, kind of what we were doing uh, in the concept development yesterday. So 24 equals uh, 12 times 2. Okay, we can show that there's more than just 12 times 2 are its factors. Let's find some more factors. So we can see we have blank times 3 times 2. So we're just going to turn this 12 into a parenthetical uh, multiplication equation. So what times 3 equals 12? 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. All right, then we're going to move the parentheses uh, to include the 3 and the 2. And our 4 will just drop down. So this also equals 4 times 3 times 2. What are we getting at here? So this is 4 times 3, which was 12 times 2. This is 3 times 2, which is 6, and then 4 times 6. Huh. This is 3 times 2 is 6 right there. We'll bring our 4 down. What do we get? 4 times 6. What does that equal? It equals 24. So we can see we have some more factors of 12, 24 other than um, uh, 2 and 12. And let's go ahead and do a little rainbow, upside down rainbow. We have 1, right, because 1 times 24. We have the 2 up there, we have 3, we have 4, we have 6, and 12. So we have 1 times 12 is 12, 2 times 6 is 12, and 3 times 4 is 12. This means it's a composite number. There are more than two factors. Okay, a little bit. Send it over here. Um, we have 36. 36 equals something times 4. Well, 4 times something equals 36. You can use your multiplication chart if you need to. All right, you can count by 4s. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. So that's 9 times 4. What do we have? What equals blank times 3 equals 9? Well, I know 3 times 3 is 9, right? So we go further down here, and I've moved 3 times 4 here. And I could just have the 3 drop down here. So 3 times 3 times 4 would equal 36. And 3 times 3 times 4 would equal 36. Now I'm going to go here. 3 times 4 is 12. And this is going to become a 3. All right? Just bring it on down. <coughs> 3 times 12 is indeed 36. So we can see this one has a lot of factors too. So it's definitely composite. Plus it's an even number. We have the 1, the 36. We have the uh, uh, the, 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 the two and half of 36 is 18. We didn't get to that one. I'm just kind of showing you. We have the three and we got a four. We have um, six and nine. So let's see what we got here. One times 36 is 36. 2 times 18 is 36, 3 times 9 is 36, and why did I put a 4 there? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, excuse me. <laughs> no, Mr. Leggett is, is very tired. Uh, <laughs> should I start this one over? No. Let's start this over, okay. Okay, dog. We got uh, 1, 2, 3, Four, six, nine, twelve, eighteen, and thirty-six. Um, come on, thirty-six. There we go. So now we got it made. One times thirty-six, two times eighteen, three times twelve, four times nine, and six times six. All equal thirty-six. That's a lot of factors. Sorry, I messed that one up. Let's try, try to do that again. We'll get number um, three. In class, we use the associative property to show when six is a factor, then two and three are also factors. Because why? Six equals two times three. We're going to use the fact that eight equals four times two to show that two and four are factors of 56, 
72 and 80. We can do this. All right, here we go. So 56 equals 8 times 7. All right, so what we're going to do is go equals. I'm going to put it all the way over here so I have some room. Equals, and we'll put blank. times 2, right? We'll put this in parentheses, times 7. So we're proving that 4 times 2, that 4 and 2 are factors also. And they are. 4 times 2 equals 8. 8 times 7 would equal 56. Remember our little trip, trip yesterday, 5, 6, 7, 8? All right, so what does this equal? Now we'll move those parentheses around. We have 4 times 2 times 7. So that would be 4 times 14, which would also equal 56. So we're finding all sorts of factors here. And finally, we can go with 4 times 14 equals 56. So we have factors 4, 2, 14, um, 7, 8, with all factors of 56. Let's continue on using the associative property. 72 equals 8 times 9. So what we can do is equals down here. And we have 4 times 2, right? And that's the 8. 4 times 2 times 9. And that's going to equal 8 times 2 times 9. Which would equal what? 8. Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Really, uh, 4 times 2 times 9. I'm making a lot of mistakes today. So it would equal 4 times 18, which would equal what? 72. Wow. All right. 80 equals 8 times 10. We know that. So let's see what some of those factors are. We have 4 times 2 times 10, or we can do 4 times 2 times 10. Look at that. 4 times 2 is 8 times 10. This is equivalent to 4 times 2 times 10, which is 20. So this would equal 4 times 20, and that would equal what? It would equal 80. So we found some other factors besides 8 and 10. We found the 2, the 4, and the 20. All right, we'll continue on number three. The first statement is false. The second statement is true. Explain why using words, pictures, or numbers. So we can use words, pictures, or a number. If a number has a 2 and 4 as factors, then it has an 8 as a factor. Okay? The first statement is false. If a number has 8 as a factor, then both 2 and 4 are factors. So... Let's just take a look at, okay, let's take a look at 12. We're going to break this into 12 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right? So this is 12. This is 12. What are its factors? Well, I know 2 times um, 6 is 12. I know 3 times 4 is 12. And I know 6 times 2 is 12. So let's look at the factors. We have 1 and 12, right? We have 2 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 3 times 4. But look, so I have 2 and 4 as factors. 2 and 4. Let's look where 8 is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Can 8 be a factor of 12? No. We'd have a bit for a remainder of 4. But now let's look at the second statement. If a number has 8 as a factor, then both 2 and 4 are factors. So let's look do one more tape diagram to prove this. I'm going to make a real long one here. And uh, we're going to do 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. 16 right there. Well, I know that 1 times 16, that's a factor. 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 3, no, 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 5, no, 6, no, 7, no, 8, yes, 9. So we have our factors of 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So as you can see, if a number has a factor of 8, then also it's going to have 2 and 4, just like we broke down using the associative property. And that is our problem set for the day. Stick around for a special guest. Uh, for the student debrief. Screencastify. Time to stop recording. I hope.